Good morning, Appleton North, and welcome to today's episode of The Spark. For Friday, April 17th. Good morning, Appleton North students. This is Mr. Pennerberg, and I have a very important message for you this morning. As you may or may not know, uh, yesterday afternoon, Governor Evers had a press conference and released that the Safer at Home Act will be extended to May 26th. Also with this decision um, is that all Wisconsin schools will be closed for the 1920 school year. I know how I felt um, when I first heard this decision. A lot of emotion um, kind of hit me. And this decision is really going to affect each and every one of us in a different way. And so that's why it's so critical that we stay together as an Appleton North community. If you recall from previous messages on the spark, we talked about perseverance. We talked about grit and how we need to really uh, uh, lean on some of those, those pieces as we move forward. We also talked about what we can control and what we can't. Uh, if you remember the outside of the circle, we can't control COVID-19. We can't control the decision to close the school. We can control how we, f how we move forward though and how we respond. This is a time to overcome the obstacles that have been put in our path and we must continue to move forward. Um, you know, the next few weeks, we're gonna have a lot of different things that are gonna come up, many that we'll not, we're not even gonna be able to anticipate. I promise that we will work together through this. We'll try to answer all of your questions and your concerns, but again, we're gonna need to do this together. And when I say together, this is the whole Appleton North family and community. Also, please know that as we move forward, the school year's not over. We're gonna continue learning through our distance learning platforms. Our teachers are committed to uh, making very meaningful uh, lessons and activities for you on a daily basis, and that will continue. And you know, it's critical that you stay engaged so that you can be successful uh, throughout the end of the school year. So again, um, don't forget routine. Routine is very important. Uh, make those to-do lists. Uh, find a place for you to for yourself to study. Um, have a schedule. Those are all really important things, and they'll make you feel like you know a real sense of accomplishment. Reach out to your sources of strength, which includes your teachers, coaches counselors, deans, you name it. You know, these are all part of the Appleton North community and together we will get through this. So again, Appleton North, we need to finish strong in the school year and uh, we're gonna do it together. Have a great day, Appleton North. Now let's see who's celebrating their birthday today. It's a special happy birthday today to Linnea, Simone, Drake, and Eden. Hope all of you have a wonderful birthday today. Hello, Appleton North. This is Mr. Parker. I'm sharing something with all of my classes today, and I thought I would also share it with you. And even though I wrote this for my students, I think I speak for every single administrator and every single educator at Appleton North. Good morning, everyone. As I'm sure you all know, the governor announced yesterday that schools will remain closed for the rest of the 2019-2020 academic year. I know we were all hoping that we would be able to come together in person again to learn and grow and share our thoughts and enjoy each other's company. I just wanted to say that all of that is still possible, just in a different way. The road we were walking has branched off in a new direction. But the destination for all of us is still the same. We may not be able to travel it as closely together as we did earlier, but our steps are not so solitary and we are not so distant that we cannot hear each other's voices along the way, shouting encouragement, offering guidance, helping each other keep our destination clear. That destination of learning is our journey's end and we will reach it even on this different path. It is the road less traveled, as the poet Robert Frost mentioned, but just because it is less traveled 
doesn't mean it's less. There is so much still for us to know and to share. If we travel with purpose and with joy, when our odyssey is over, we will be able to look back and know, like Odysseus did, that we are the better for it. The last stanza of Frost's poem says it all. I shall be telling this with a sigh, ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I am so looking forward to walking that road with you, as are all of your teachers at Appleton North. Mm -hmm. Here's to the journey. This is Mr. Pennenberg, and I approve this message.